Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. Many years back, Lokpo, Lokpo, what are saying? Some people, family members, I want more they visited us. They said they were going somewhere. And they brought one girl along. That we should look, look at the girl. Whether we can employ her. As, as help. Look at her very well. And so we don't have house help. We don't have house help. We don't have them. They say, you people are working too hard. You, they brought her. It's okay. And you know, in, we, we pray aggressive prayer before we sleep at night. Prayer until people are sweating. The prayer we pray at night. They say they want to sleep, that they have traveled for long. Not here. You will participate. Prayer. That's our survival uh, story here. So we prayed, they prayed to you until they were sweating. And we slept. All of a sudden, the night, I had somebody having a discussion. Somebody was talking. So I stood up from my bed. And I went there. And I saw this girl they brought from the town. She was fast asleep. But she was talking to somebody. I couldn't hear what the other person was saying to her. I could hear a reply. Listen to what she was saying. Listen to what she was saying. So, well, uh, I said, this place is hot. But maybe if I'm able to stay, I'll be able to attack. But right now, one cannot attack here. In fact, there are angels here. So I can't operate here. It's a dangerous place to go. I listen to all those discussions. I'm praying for you. Every strange spirit coming to your house shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. I waited for her to finish. After two hours, she now started sleeping without talking again. And now woke up. Wake up. Who were you talking to? He said nobody. It's okay, I'm going to ask you two more times. Two more times. If you don't answer, I will, I will not hesitate to begin to call on the fire of the God of Elijah to deal with you here. Who were you talking to? She said, my colleagues. What did they want you to do? They want me to stay here and cause trouble. Asuna, say this after me. Say, you my colleagues, hear the word of the Lord. I cannot operate here. So remind yourself. She spoke. By the next morning, before we woke up, she had had a shower, she had dressed up, she had sparked a load. I said, I'm not staying. I'm going away. I'm praying for you. That every enemy program against you, they shall pack their loads and their parts. In the name of Jesus. You are raping a woman. You are a thief. This is a serious matter. A very serious matter. You impregnated a woman. And you are denying that no. It's not you. You are a thief. All the case of first marriage there is stealing. All the, all the pushing small small children to marriage is stealing. I read the story about, about a man 
42 marrying a 10 year old girl the, the first night of the wedding he completely punctured and destroyed the womb of that girl and the girl bled to death and he's now married somebody else he thinks he will be left alone by heaven no Powers. Assigned to waste my destiny. Be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Then number five, we have the pampered wives. She's not used to anything hard. She expects the level of treatment she gets from her father's house. Don't talk to her anyhow. She will break down and you may have to admit her in the hospital. So she will be very, very sophisticated, very fragile, and you have to be very, very careful. If not, she will, she will threaten to kill herself and she will begin to swallow rat poison. Your presence. Six, you have the dustbin wife. Extremely dirty and disorganized. When you get to the city room, it's like a toilet. The kitchen becomes an empire of rats. Clothes are unwashed and things are left to be dirty. We have those kind of wives. Seven, we have the ADC wives, AD camp. They have zero tolerance for other women close to their husband. Zero tolerance. Don't want to see anybody beside you. I'm your wife and don't shake anybody. Don't smile at them. Don't wink if you wink. <laughs> sure. So this is why these days now, a lot of sisters don't want to marry pastors. They say, ah, pastor. Ah, too, too many women in gravitating towards them. No, no somebody is private. <laughs> so it is a wife. They are hostile to any woman close to their husband. And sometimes the police that husband. Like detective. <laughs> Over the place. If the man is going to the toilet. <laughs> Every evil marital pattern. Of my father's house. I am not your candidate. Can you shout it loud and clear? Therefore, there, in the name of Jesus, I am not your candidate. That is acidic husband. Very hot tempered, a boxer, a wrestler, abusive, shouting, sit down, shut up, come here. No laughing, no fun, no joke, no nonsense. Very serious, no play. He backs at everybody like a sergeant major at the world from. I said, come and see my hat. <laughs> His house is like a military camp. <laughs> and he's a lion in the house. And can slap anyone at any time, including mommy or housemaid or anybody. Some of your parents are like that. Some of you understand what I'm saying now. That is number five. That is the slave master husband. Slave master. That one, women should be seen and not heard. The woman is a cook, a dry cleaner, a sex machine, a baby making factory, period. That's all. They see the wife as housemaid. 
It's like that, my friend, many years ago. Four weeks before his wedding, he stopped washing his clothes. He was just piling them up, piling them up, piling them up. I said, brother, ah, you are not washing your clothes. He said, this is coming. <laughs> it's coming. So his, his idea of a wife is a dry cleaner. Every agenda of darkness for my marriage. <laughs> is that the loudest you can shout it? Yeah! In the name of Jesus, deal with the agenda of darkness. Deal with that agenda in the name of Jesus. For Santa Kayaba Shende Raboko Polo Kayaba. Daribo Sister, anytime she gets pregnant, they will take a scan at six months. Seven months, baby disappears. No, 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 nothing, no trace. The scan will show zero. Womb is empty. What kind of thing is this one again? Get pregnant, six, six, six months, they take a scan, they see the baby, sometimes they see twins, seven months, womb is clear. The doctors are confused. It got so bad that in one particular hospital, anytime she was coming for antenatal clinic, the doctor will close the door quickly and say that he has malaria. Because the man too was afraid. That was what brought her to the mountain of fire. She prayed. And then she said, anytime she prayed, she would see a bottle turn upside down. A bottle turn upside down. She saw it several times, several times. God is a kind God. He will always show secrets if you ask him. Geo, bottle turn upside down. What, what is that? Why bottle? Why bottle turn upside down? I said, go and talk to your father. <laughs> go and talk to your father. She went to the father. I said, daddy, you know I've been married now for 10 years. And this is the situation. Do you remember anything concerning me about bottle? Hey, the man said, yes, oh, ha, ah, holy me, oh, hey. I said, daddy, why? Why are you reacting? Because you're a beautiful little girl. I didn't want them to get you pregnant in school. So I now went to a native doctor who gave me a bottle that as far as I turned the bottle upside down under the bed, no matter what volume of spam they put in your body, it will run out. You won't get pregnant. And that, ah, ah. See, and the native doctor told the, the father, at any time the daughter wants to get married, it should come so that they can reverse that thing. But the man had forgotten. He had forgotten. So he quickly ran. Under his bed, the bottle was still there, upside down. With dust. He said, Daddy, what do we do now? The Baba, the baba now started crying. He cried. He said, Daddy, why are you crying? Let's, let's go to the native doctor. Why are you crying? I said, I'm crying because the native doctor is dead. But now, we in Mountain of Fire, we know what to do now. She brought the bottle. And we spoke to the bottle. Anointed it and destroyed it. That's how she got pregnant and had the baby. I'm praying for somebody here. Every secret that we need to know to move your life forward, receive it now. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus.